This is Dipjo Devi from Reporting House, a business partner of both IBM and Actuate. What you are about to see is the demonstration of Maximo Reporting Portal. It provides an easy to use interface for Maximo and non-Maximo users to access a wide range of reports. This portal includes new standard BERT reports provided with Maximo 7 as well as existing Actuate reports, e-spreadsheet, dashboard, what-if analysis and query capabilities provided with Maximo 6 and earlier releases. Additionally, data from other applications like time and attendance or inventory subsystem can also be incorporated. Once a user logs in, it puts him into the pre-configured company dashboard. This dashboard shows three KPIs related to open work orders. One is for number of open work orders by business unit, then priority one and two work orders by business unit, and also work order count by facilities within a business unit. With Web 2.0 like interface, the user can click on a business unit and see the KPIs related to that business unit without refreshing the entire screen. As you scroll down, there is a report showing Pareto analysis of failures for critical assets. This example is for a centrifugal pump and it shows number of failures by failure codes. As you see, 85% of failures are due to two failure codes. Hence, maintenance manager can focus on probing and resolving issues related to these two failure codes rather than spending resource elsewhere. Let us go to my dashboard and see some pre-configured dashboards. On the left hand side you can see the list of available KPIs which are further organized by different functional groups like EAM, ERP, statistical and new objects for adding any intranet site, images, files etc. On the right hand side you can see the list of available pre-configured company dashboards and my dashboard where user can create, delete, rename and save their own canvases. Here user can create his own canvas under my dashboard where user can drag another KPI from a list of KPI and drop it into the canvas. We can refresh these KPIs on demand or schedule them as well. Now let us see some operational and detailed reports. In report tab, reports are organized by different functional group like EAM, PI, RCM and ERP. Within a tab, they are further subgrouped like administration, assets, calibration, etc. It contains Maximo standard BERT reports along with custom BERT reports and actuate reports. Now let us go to the work order group and run the work order labor variance report. User can easily view the report information by clicking on the help file or just by right clicking on the report name before running the report. This information is monitored and managed by RMDMS, that is Report Metadata Management System. Here user can see the description, report version, and he can also see the functional specification, technical specification, and stored procedures, and SQL queries written for this report. User can select the report parameters as well as retrieve the saved parameters. This feature is helpful when you can have a large number of parameters. This list report was originally developed in open source BERT. It shows variance between the estimated and actual labor cost and number of hours worked for various work orders. This particular report has only 5 pages but you may have other bigger reports with many pages. 
In that case, it would be difficult to get to the relevant and required information quickly. This icon you see on the left hand corner will allow users to further interact with this report. This is a new technology provided with Actuate for Bird. Let us explore it further. For some users, this status column may not be important and can be hidden. Now let us look at the labor cost variance. We can further show conditional formatting to highlight labor cost variance which is greater than 200. Let us highlight with red colored font. Make the font size as bond. User can group this report by work order type. We can also change the title of this report. There are many other functions and features available like sorting, subgrouping, subtotals, etc. which the user can perform on this report. Once the user is satisfied, then he can save it in the report repository for further use. This design can be further modified by IT if necessary and publish it for other users. This new technology allows end users and IT to collaborate in report development. Now let us look at the analysis tab. Here we will analyze different what if scenarios for EOQ that is economic order quantity calculator for spare parts ordering. Let us choose another item gasket pump from the inventory and see how EOQ is computed. Here user can easily change the fixed cost order. They can increase the item price and see how the variance cost is affected. Here user can save these scenarios and also have the ability to load scenarios which is already pre-saved in the system. We can also see some other examples like TCO that is total cost ownership, estimated labor cost, etc. To summarize, this Maximo reporting portal can be utilized by Maximo and non-Maximo users and it incorporates a full range of reports including BERT, Actuate e-reports, e-spreadsheets, dashboard and what-if analysis. Its interactive capabilities for open source BERT reports allows Maxima users to create their own personalized ad hoc reports. This allows adoption of new BERT technology while also retaining your current inf investment in Actuate reports. For additional information Please visit www.maximoportal.com. Thank you.